In this video, we are going to customize the WooCommerce shop page using Neve Pro, and we are going to use one of Neve's starter sites called Print Shop for this demonstration. You can click the card on the screen if you'd like to learn more about starter sites. Let's click on the customize link to open the customizer. Once the menu appears, click on WooCommerce at the bottom. Okay, so these are our main WooCommerce options. Let's start with store notice. So this is where we can display a message for our users visiting our store. We can enable this feature by clicking on the checkbox. So now we have the default store notice at the top of this page. You can always replace this notice with your own. So for example, I'm going to type something like enjoy up to 10% off all products. So this feature is good if you want to display a quick message about a sale or some type of store event. Let's remove it and let's go back. Now let's go ahead and explore the product catalog options. Okay, so the first option we have here is shop page display. If we click on this drop down menu, we'll see that we can display products, categories, or both. Let's leave it as products only. And we can take a look at the options for category display. We can choose to display products, subcategories, or both. Let's also leave the default value for this option. The next option is default product sorting. And if we access the drop down menu, we'll see the options. So we can sort by price descending, price ascending, sort by most recent, average rating, and popularity, which is sales basically. So we are going to sort by popularity and we can already see a change in the product order. All right, so let's move to the page layout section. The first option we have here is products per row. On desktop, we have three products per row. We can also view and adjust these settings on tablet and mobile by clicking on these icons. So on mobile, we're displaying two products per row. Let's change it to one. We can see what it looks like on the right hand side. Let's take a look at the tablet view. It's set to two and I think that looks good. And we won't need to change desktop. Let's leave it as three. And you can also use this slider to make your adjustments. The next option lets you select the number of products you want to display per page. Right now it's set to nine, but I recommend choosing a number that's a multiple of each of your products per row values if you want to keep your product grids even. We also have pagination, which by default is set to number. We can see this at the bottom, so we have two pages here. You can always change this pagination to infinite scroll, and this simply means that products will be loaded as you continue scrolling. So we are going to change this value back to number. This would make it easier for a user to locate a product that they once saw, especially if we had many products. We have the option to turn products filtering on or off. If it's off, you won't have access to the product sorting filter on the page, so let's turn it back on. Okay, and we also have the option to turn layout toggle on or off. If you want to hide the toggle icons on the right hand side, you can turn it off, but let's keep it on to offer users a quick layout change. Okay, so let's move to product card. The first option under the product card section is layout. Let's keep grid selected and let's remove the add to card button from the product by clicking on none. Now let's go ahead and turn on the quick view banner at the bottom of the image. So now we can hover over the image and click on the quick view banner to open a modal which displays the product information. We can also add the product to our cart from here. So the next feature we have is wishlist. Let's add a wishlist icon to the top right hand corner of our product image. Okay, I think this is good. So let's move down to category card. So if you are displaying categories in your shop, you can go ahead and select one of these options, but I'm going to skip this for now. So the first option under card image would allow us to force the same image height across all product images. So if you have products with different heights, you can use this slider to set a common height in pixels, or you can type a value straight into this field. So let's set a value of 250. Okay, so the next option we have here is image style. This is where we can select a hover effect for our product images. So let's use this drop down menu to see the options. Let's see what zoom would look like. So if we hover over the image, we can see a zoom animation. And I think this looks good, so I'm going to keep it. And let's move down to card content. If we expand this menu, we'll see a few options. We have the elements order, which corresponds to these elements here on the product. We can turn elements on or off by clicking on this eye icon. So we have just turned the price off as an example. Let's turn it back on. We can also reorder elements by clicking and dragging them to our desired position. So we have just moved price under the title. And as always, we can see a preview of our changes on the right hand side. 
We won't need to turn on categories or a short description, so let's move on to alignment. We have four different options, left, center, right, and inline. Let's select left. So now our product elements are all left aligned. The next option we have available is advanced reviews. So if we turn this on, we should see additional information right next to the stars. So right now we have the exact rating as a number. We have a rating of five across four different reviews. We won't need this, so I'm going to turn this back off. Okay, so the final section we have here is sale tag. And under sale tag, the first option we have is position, which is set to outside by default. But let's go ahead and change it to inside. The alignment option under this lets us move the tag to the left or to the right side of the product image. Let's leave it as left. And the border radius option lets you round the corners of your sale tag. You might find this feature useful, but I'm going to leave it as zero. If you disable the sale percentage, you'll be able to type your own custom sale text in this field. I think the default text is fine, so I'm going to leave it. The next option is background color. By default, it may be set to one of your theme colors but you can always change it to a color of your choice. So as an example, I'm gonna go ahead and select a bright red color. The next option lets us select a text color. So let's go ahead and select white. Let's wait for the preview. Okay, so I think this looks good enough for the purpose of this demonstration. So let's go ahead and click on the publish button at the top of the page. Okay, so once you're done, you can go ahead and view your shop in an incognito window. So here's the result of our customization. Now you know how to customize a WooCommerce shop page using Neve Pro. Thank you for watching.